as i want you to watch this video watch this video and then you use your tongue to count your teeth we need to be steadfast in prayers these days most of our leaders belong to one or two things so watch this video and let me know what you think happy v Welcome to Talking Politics. Quite some interesting topics to discuss today. Now, when the man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, told world leaders not to attend the World Economic Forum meetings, he knew exactly what he was saying. And for those who listened, they have literally saved themselves from being imparted by a traditional witch doctor. For the very first time, the World Economic Forum publicly displayed demonic activities at its meetings. A traditional witch doctor took center stage, performed incantations, and engaged attendees in a spiritual experience. Now, this is to tell you the extent to which they are willing to go to accomplish their own agenda. With this happening at Davos, isn't it really surprising what they come up with next? Watch this. <laughs> No Kamai, no Kamaka, na Anuri, no Yuyua, na Wahon, Shinam, the punk and Tushina Shavaki, Shinamu Kikirani, Tan Shavakirani, Tan Makikirani. I want my woman, I want my woman, no my woman, why? Why shall I? what we call desperation taking place at the World Economic Forum in a bid to accomplish their agenda. Uh, James Caldwell is with me today. James is very interesting when we look at what is happening here. Uh, this is an event and here we're seeing a traditional witch doctor at the World Economic Forum. So when the man of God, Pastor Chris Yaklimi, was saying, look, do not attend this conference. It's no wonder that the leaders when they attend this conference, they go back to their country doing things that do not benefit the country. Yeah, it's, it is, it is, it's, the, it's the height of really um, uh, double standards, really, because they are quite anti-Christianity. They are quite anti-religion. They're quite good at the idea of a one-world religion. And we, here we can see the remarkable, well, it's just incredible, uh, a witch doctor laying hands upon delegates at the opening ceremony in Davos. Does that tell you everything? What exactly are they being impacted with? What exactly, on, in the spirit realm anyway, is happening inside of them right now? And they're completely oblivious to it, or are they? What are they receiving from this witch doctor? Is it the spirit of the living God? No, it's some spirit, yes. But what exactly is it? It's quite remarkable to see this. Would they have a Christian preacher? Would they have a pastor stand there blessing them in the Holy Spirit? Or would that be far too far for those left-wing socialists that tend to dominate these international bodies? It's quite a, a shocking thing to see, really. James, especially you know, because they are so anti-Christianity, so exactly. anti-religion. You're so very on. right. If we have a pastor there who says, I would like to pray for you, I would like you to give your heart to Christ, and I'd like you get you filled with the Holy Spirit. What do you think would happen there? <laughs> There'd be an empty pole.